You know, also I was listening. They had Stephanie Kelton on. This is, I think it was yesterday. And, you know, she's the big modern monetary theory queen. She's out there talking about, you know, how we can keep on printing money. And she has no concerns, right, about all the money printing because she thinks it's necessary because what she was saying on the CNBC interview was that we need all this new money because without it, we wouldn't have enough spending. She said you have a lot of people who are unemployed and they're not spending enough money. But if we just run these big deficits and print all this money, then they can spend. And she said, you have to remember what is capitalism all about? It's about spending money. And if people don't have money, we don't have economic growth. So if people don't have jobs and they're not earning money, then it's up to the government to replace the money they're no longer earning with this fresh money we just printed. And it's fine. And it doesn't make a difference whether you earn money or it's just given to you and it's printed, we're still going to have economic growth. And she could not be more wrong. (laughs) She has completely got the cart before the horse and not understanding that it's economic growth that creates spending, not the other way around. You cannot consume what has not been produced. If all you had to do is print money to create economic growth, then every country could have a booming economy. I mean, they've had a printing press for a long time. Well, if all you had to do is print money and everything would be great, but it's not. There is a big difference between working and earning money and just receiving money that's been printed. Because when you have a job and you earn money, right, you have contributed some value to earn that money. You have helped produce products or provide services. And as compensation, you've earned some money. And now you can use that money to buy some of the goods and services that you helped create. But if you don't create anything, if you don't have a job and the government just prints money and gives it to you, now you go out to spend it, you've contributed nothing. Yet you're drawing from the supply of goods and services that you didn't help to expand. So it's pure inflation. Prices just go up. That's the only thing that can happen. But you have all of these clowns. And remember, Joe Biden listens to these modern monetary theorists. These are the big economists of the Democratic Party. And Biden is about to be inaugurated, right? January 20th. Uh, There's a new sheriff in town. And it's an entire new posse. And these guys are going to be coming down with all sorts of regulations, all sorts of taxes. But... The biggest thing is going to be the government spending and the way they're going to pay for it is by using that printing press. And they are going to run that thing in overdrive. And so if things are bad now, wait till you see what happened when Biden's got the press and Janet Yellen is a secretary of the Treasury. This is just the beginning. What we're seeing now in commodities, this is just the very, very beginning of this massive and unprecedented boom that we're about to see. I mean, it is going to dwarf anything that we saw or experienced in the 1970s. 